I'm gonna start this entire series and this video by just saying that you really can't make this up. Earlier this year, I got a license for the beautiful state of Tennessee, right? Kind of came out here, did a little bit of fishing, and I didn't really shoot any YouTube videos, but I did get an annual fishing license for the state. So I kind of thought to myself, well, you know what, man, since I got, you know, the, state, the, the license for the entire year, right? And it is like the end of summer, may as well come back out here and try to catch a few more species of fish, right? So there goes Leo Shang, owner of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel on YouTube, boarded the plane, came down here, all excited, right? I was at the airport, and guess what? They lost my bag. American Airlines lost my checked bag. Thankfully, I was carrying my fishing rods with me on the plane, and I had some terminal tackle in my book bag, but all four reels that I brought for this trip were in the check bag. Three pin reels and a fluger, right? <laughs> Not to mention a lot of other things that I needed for the series, like my jackal egg bucket, you know, the foldable bucket that I usually use for my videos, right? My bismuth sinkers that I shot a video on a little while ago here on the channel and a bunch of other things so recently I ain't gonna lie to you all it's been it's been a little bit sad you know you're gonna see this set of clothes for the series quite a lot here on this channel because this is all I got folks one pair of pants one shirt one underwear and a pair of socks all right anyways two minutes into the video Let's talk a little bit about fishing. Yesterday was a very stressful day for me, thanks to all the situation, calling the airports, checking where the bag is. Nobody could find anything. So I didn't really shoot any YouTube videos, but I'm just letting you all know that yesterday I actually fished over here already, all right? As a matter of fact, I hit this one spot here called Cason trailhead right you folks can see 6.6 miles if i actually walk down over here on the trail and i mean i'm gonna talk about it later in this video i did end up catching one lifer the red tail chub a member of the nokomis genus that was 384 or 85 on the life list right so today i kind of decided to come back to the west fork Stones River here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, because there are a lot of species that I don't have yet from this watershed. We are here at the Thompson Lane Trailhead, as you folks can see, which is right next to like a historical Civil War battle site. And we're going to be fishing this stretch of the river, all right. Uh, main plan of the day is micro fishing. So if you don't like micro fishing, if you don't like knowledge, if you don't like learning about different species of fish, you may want to skip this video, all right? We're going to be out there targeting different species of darters, hopefully find a scoping or two in the creek, different species of shiners, and hopefully some suckers as well. Oh, well suckers, you know, apparently they're everywhere down here. I just never find them. So yeah, there is a list of about 10 species that I still need to catch from the West Fork Stones River. So now that you all know about the entire story, okay? Enough talking, let's get to fishing. All right, all right, all right. It is time to get ready, get that polarized lenses ready so that we can side fish here in the creek. Make sure that you get that camera ready so that it can get ready for the shots. And finally, oh, I already got my photo tank ready over here, right? We don't really have the jackal egg bucket with us, so we are back to the traditional photo tank. Well, I tell you all what, I just crossed all the vegetation over here to get to this side 
and sometimes this type of environment can really be overwhelming. I saw some pockets in the vegetation that we're going to explore too, but I must have seen at least six different species of fish just by crossing the river, right? And sometimes it's so overwhelming that you gotta think like, man, where am I going to get started? So I spotted a bigger population in terms of size, big shyness right over here. They seem to be of the genus Cyprinella and there are two species of Cyprinella around this area, okay? The white tail shiner and the iron collar. Actually, it's still collar shiner that I don't have on my life list yet. So I just tied on a side stand hook with just a red wiggler. I'm going to free fall it in there to see if we can catch some samples. Let's do it. Right there. Oh, dude, what is that? Oh, no, that's wrong species. Wrong species. Of course, first fish of the day. No, I see this cool of shiner. There must be like a dozen of them out there. But of course, the little large mount bass is the first one to show up, huh? No bueno. Well, all right, large mount black bass, Micropterus salmoides, our first species of the day too. So greedy, huh? Little fella, come on, man. You need to go call the shiners for me, okay, buddy? Yeah, all right, dude. Went back where it belongs. There's a big school of them right around this area, though. So sooner or later, we're going to catch one. Oh, yes, son. Finally got one of the little shiners. Let me tell you all, it was not easy to catch this. Oh, not easy, not easy at all. And you know what? I think this is a species that I already have. That is the worst part. Ay, yi yi. Okay, let's put it in the photo tank real quick. It took me a good 15 minutes to get a shot at this little dude. Let's see what we got, yeah? Yeah. It's a white shiner, the Luxilus albeolus. Ay, ay, ay. I thought it was going to be a member of the Cyprinella genus, but apparently the Luxilus are in the slow pools over there. Now, mind you, it took me a couple different species of fish to actually land this one, okay? I caught a smallmouth bass, the Micropterus dolomiel. I also caught a few long ear sunfish, the Lepomis megalotis, before that. So yeah, 15 minutes to catch that little fish. You would think it's easy, right? Throw a piece of worm out there and whoop, that, no. Well, all right, let's take a photo and uh, I'm gonna put this one back. No lifers yet. Hey, I tell you all what, it is not the end of the world, right? Maybe before the end of the day, we are going to find some Cyprinella species out there. But for now, let's just release this little white shiner. Luxilus albeolus. Beautiful sample over here. I would like to emphasize, too bad I already have it on my life list, right? Okay, here you go, little fella. Go back where you belong. Look how beautiful the little shiner actually is, huh? Isn't it phenomenal? All right, swimming back. I just switched back to a size 10 hook with a little split shot. I actually see some suckers, small suckers swimming right around this area. I believe that they are the northern hog sucker, the Hippentelium nigricans, which is a species that I already have on my life list. But I mean, it never hurts to double check, right? So one tiny split shot, one hook, and just a bigger piece of worm for these fellas. The key is to find when they're feeding, where and when. And if you see the fish feeding down there, right, the little hog sucker, just try to throw your bait right in front of its face or on its path so it can come over, slurp it in like spaghetti.
What is that? Oh my lord, dude! Wait a moment, what? Whoa! This is the, the same lifer that I caught yesterday, isn't it? But a bigger one. Oh, we're gonna take a few shots of this one. I think it is a red tail chub, man. This came darting at the worm on the bottom. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. This is actually a pretty cool catch. I'm giving it a little bit more of water because the members of the Nokomis genus are actually very sensitive. These are the moments that I really wish I had my Jacko egg bucket over here, but airline, like I told you folks, kind of lost it. So we have to put this dude in the little photo tank. I only called my first one ever of this one right over here yesterday, the Nokomis effusus, and it was a tiny, tiny little sample too out of a very small creek. So you know, this is actually a big bonus, right? It is an upgrade and a beautiful sample for our life for 385. And I will tell you what, you can correct me if I am wrong. I am no biologist or ichthyologist. You feel me? I think this is the only Nokomis species that swims in the Stones River system, right? All other Nokomis, I believe, is out of range when it comes to the West Fork Stones River. So regardless, hey, it's a beautiful one. I was targeting the little, you know, suckers down there and this dude just, whoo, slurpy like his spaghetti, son. That's what's up. All right, let's release this fellow over here. Last view of our red tail chub, Nokomis Efusus 385, all right? I wish I had a bigger bucket for this dude, sincerely, you know? Wow, look at that, huh? The red of the tails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, looks like a chub indeed. All right, back you go, my man. Yes, look at that, it's swimming down there. Happy freedom. Never wants to see an Asian again. Kind of understand why. <laughs> you just got the biggest trauma of his entire life. Hey, it's all for the sake of science, you feel me? All right, let's continue our fishing session for today. Get it, boy. Come on. Dude, you've got to be kidding me. Come on, bro. You've got to be kidding. No, for real. Like, what is going on with this fish? The worm is right in front of your face. Right there. Yes. Get it. Get it. Got him. Victory, boy. Oh, easy, easy, easy. We need to land it now. No, no, no. You're not getting out of the water, bro. Oh, easy, 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 bro. Oh, boy. 25 minutes to catch this fish. Oh, yes, sir. Hi. 25 minutes of my life. That will never come back. But look at that. Aha. Uh -huh, yeah. Northern hog sucker, isn't it? Yeah. Ipentelium nigricans. 25 minutes for this little fella, huh? 25 minutes, but what a beautiful sample. I got to tell you, out of all the different suckers that I have caught in the past, the Northern Hog Sucker is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful ones with amazing patterns on its body. And as you are watching this video right now, you may be wondering to yourself like, man, you go down to Tennessee, with limited time and availability why would you spend 25 minutes of your time targeting a species of fish that you already have on your life list right with all the pain and frustration out there when you could be looking for a species that you have never caught before that's actually a very good question right i mean have you ever wondered to yourself why exactly is it that we have an annual list 
the purple number there at the top and not just a lifeless, right? So there lies your answer, right? This is actually a new species for 2022. It is my first Northern hog sucker of the year. And I believe in terms of this species alone, it is only my second or third one ever. Meaning that my experience with this type of fish, right? This genus of fish is still very limited. And that is one of the main objectives of having an annual life list, right? To catch things around that you have already caught before. Because if you want to get good at your craft, if you want to get good at life listing, if you want to get good at looking at the species down there and catching specifically that one fish down there, I'll tell you all what. It is a lot of time, a lot of pain, a lot of frustration, and a lot of failing and failing and failing over and over again, right? But that is how you get good at it, you see? So, all right, I think this is a great way to finish this video. I'm going to release this little fella over here, you know? Oh, man, what a beautiful sample we got here, huh? Easy, easy. Northern hog sucker are actually known for being very <laughs> mad so all right let me release this one over here you all can see it is swimming away check that out huh it's been inside the photo tank the entire time so it's good to go oh yes swimming with his little fins out there back to his brothers and sisters i'm going to put the numbers over here on the screen so that you all can see how many different species of fish we have called up to right now in this fishing session and in addition to that northern hog sucker just now right uh it was really a pleasure to catch a bigger sample of the red tail chub the nokomis effusus which again emphasizing was a species number 385 on the life list so we are approaching finally 400 right and this fishing sessions right that i'm going to shoot in tennessee i really think it is going to bump those numbers up by a little bit there are still maybe 10 or 11 species in the West Fork Stones River alone that I have never encountered and never caught yet, right? Many of which are tiny shiners and tiny darters and a few top water ones, right? And of course, the suckers. So there's a lot of room for progress and improvement out there. All right, that being said, this video is getting too long, so for now, thank you very much for watching it. As always, I appreciate all your love and support. And more so, I hope that you've learned some science or something useful out of this video, okay? I'll see you all next time. Tight lines. And take it easy.